good morning good morning everyone welcome to this video this is a vertical academy and uh, my name is uh, professor what mike and uh, in this video i'm gonna actually show you how you can go about answering this question that came in 2017 mathematics uh, gc paper one and to be more specific on question 14. so the question reads the table below shows the relationship between two variables x and y it is given that a uh, y varies inversely as a square root of x where x is positive so from this point uh, before i dive into this question guys please make sure that you do subscribe to our channel so that uh, you don't miss uh, any information like this one so we have been told that the kind of variation is inversely variation and this is the most important thing guys because if you don't know what kind of variation you're dealing with it becomes very difficult okay so from there we know that uh, we have this table and now for all information is that uh, when you're looking at uh, inverse variation you have a relationship y varies one over x now they're saying the square root of x okay so kind of that one so we have something like y now you can introduce the constant by removing this variation symbol and saying is equal to then k over the square root of x so this is what is very important okay so now let's answer the first question it says write an expression for y in terms of x and the constant of variation k so how do you go about this one so on a what you're supposed to do is just say uh, they are saying write an expression okay so this expression is just uh, for y in terms of uh, expression for y so i'm just going to say y uh, varies as one over the square root of x okay now once you do that now introduce the constant y is equal to uh, k over the root of x and this is the answer that they wanted you to write and you have answered question uh, a now on question on question uh, b you have two things okay you have two things you have the same find the value of k so for us to find the value of k all you have to do is get this one y equals to k over the square root over the square root of x now you are finding k what you need to do is you go to the table you go to the table and then you get the complete set of uh, these actual numbers for y you get 2 for x you get 16 because that is a complete set okay so now we are saying our y is uh, 2 and our x equals to 16 so from there now you just now replace okay and uh, where there is y you put uh, 2 equals to k over the square root of uh, 16 so now we are looking for k uh, but first of all you can simplify that one this is going to become 2 equals to k the square root of 16 is just over 4 so from there now you can cross multiply 1 times k is just k and 2 times 4 is 8 and that is the answer for k and now on b um, 2 okay how do you go about this one so this one says that uh, find the value of a so here is a so on this one what you do is uh, finding the value of a okay is just the same as finding the value of x so i'm going to say uh, x is just a and y is just the corresponding 8 over 9 and we know that the value of k is just 8 so from there now applying the same formula uh, this one i'm just going to say y equals to k over 
square root of x. So from there, we can just replace y is 8 over 9, and our k is 8 over the square root of... So now where there is x, you are going to put a. Okay. So from there now, you are going to say, uh, you cross multiply, okay? You cross multiply. Meaning, you are going to say 8 multiply by 9, okay? And 8 multiply by the square root of a. So from there, you can now divide both sides by 8, so that you remain with the square root of a. So this and this goes, this and this goes. So it remains with 9. Uh, 9 is equal to uh, the root of a. So now we have to remove the square root by introducing or by squaring both sides. So uh, this and the square root goes. So 9 squared is just 81 equals to a. So that is the answer. So that is how you can go about it. So if you like my videos, please subscribe for more information. And thank you for watching.